Hello again. So in this thrill of the chase, um, we're led to believe that people are in the dark. And there's so much going on, which is why, you know, I'm in the dark. And I don't want to put light onto the subject for fear of blinding people. So I've seen Fendi's video and Firstly, I agree totally with his sentiments with regard to the illness and anybody who is suffering from cancer or knows people that are, you know, thinking of you because it's not pleasant. But the chase, a rich girl, etc., that you know, Fendi was dropping um, information. But, you know, a love story, etc. Forrest said, it was pointed out, to, and these are just paraphrased words, it was pointed out to them about the thrill of the chase being a man's, you know, search for the woman or, you know, the, the wooing a woman or chasing a woman. So, but he was happy with that. The thrill of the chase. He said, you know, not really change it. The thrill of the chase is what I, you know, want. So he chose that. He said things like, if I was young, I'd get the treasure much myself. Absolutely, you should be wasted on the young. Lied about my age because I want to be younger than I am. So, you know, like a Peter Pan reference or the Fountain of Youth reference. So we go through the chase and pretty much most people are looking for a chest. And while my initial involvement in the chase was, you know, I want to be rich or, you know, I don't want to have to work, those sort of things. It was soon obvious that people have been searching for this for 10 years, including professionals. I've already said in earlier videos. So whatever they're doing is incorrect. Whichever soul that is out there which people are talking about, it's incorrect. So it has to be something different. And Forrest gave the information that he was giving you, uh, what's the word? Breadcrumbs, basically, and leading you down a path, and you had to follow that path. So he gave the information out, and I've explained it hundreds of times in my videos. So my search was not for the chest, but title to the gold. And Forrest emphasized that in the Capre video when she asked him the question, does, does the person get the chest and the contents? Now, before that, Forrest had said the chest was going to go back to whoever it was that he got it from. And the chest would end up in a museum. So how is finding a chest going to help you if the chest is going to go back to the person he got it from, which he thinks he ever paid for, and it's going to end up in a museum, which means, well, you're not going to get it anyway. <laughs> so getting tighter to the gold would have been, you know, the obvious answer to the poem. And when I say answer, I mean the last part of it, rather than, you know, take chess and go in peace. So what was it all about, really? And then the more I got into it and the more information I found, it became... Like, is this a higher hand? Is this time travel? Is this something, you know, alternate universe type thing? Whatever. It was just weird how things evolved. And the information you get is fact. It's not who you are, it's who they think you are, things are not as they seem, blah, blah, blah. And you can end up with locations, with the map that you're given by Forrest Fenn. And I was asked why I, I've moved. And in the poem, I'm asked why I'm up and down and blah, blah, blah. Lots of different information that I haven't answered. And, you know, even recently, you know, leave a message. And while asking the question about this person that I saw, um, I know who that person is because it tells me in the poem. You know, a beautiful lady.
Um, and you have to think, well, why, why is that the case? What is this all about? What, how does that tie in with the information that's being given in the poem? And it's hard, as I said to Forrest in my emails, it's hard to, if it was Forrest, whoever Major Forrest Burke fan is, it's hard to give information to somebody over <laughs> over an email or over the internet or because you don't know who is who. Nothing's as it seems. Everybody's name is different than the name that they give. I mean, my name's my name. It's there. But the people that I talk to... Um, Let's take Mr. Black, for example. The name of Mr. Black is a female, not the name. The name is male and the person is female. So, well, um, <laughs> so it's not who you are, it's who they think you are. Um, Street, the other day when Hello McFly came on, you know, he's like, damn, I thought you were a man, but you're a woman. And it's like, this is crazy. How can you have a conversation with people? when you don't know how to address them. And I've done it, you know, I've assumed that somebody's a man and they've come back and said, no, I'm female and stuff like that. So while I think people are who I think they are, they might not be who I think they are. So this is all about being heard. Absolutely. This is all about being heard. And those that understand, you know what I mean? They will understand it's about being heard. You know, wood for a better word, but <laughs> um, no, it's all about being heard. And it's all about the thrill of the chase. And it may be a love story. And not, things are not what they seem. And the poem is not what it seems. Way, way more. And I had, a, you know, a, a lengthy conversation um, in chat with Luck. And I'm not angry. I was just trying to emphasise certain things. And I don't know if it's because they think, you know, I'm not sure about what it is that I've got. But I'm absolutely sure about what it is that I've got. I've got, I'm just not sure who it is that I'm speaking to and what reasons they have for me informing them of what I've got. So the poem, in my opinion, for me and Davy B, is finished. The map is specific enough for that to happen. But this wasn't about, yeah, it was about finding, but it wasn't, doesn't matter about the locations. The locations are just how to get from one place to the other to understand what the question is. And then you understand what the question is, you know what the answer is. So while I can appear to be in two places at once, there is one answer for those two places. And there is one answer for the chase. But it's just about covering all the bases and not I don't want to say committing because it is committing you know I'm committed to those choices but this is not my <laughs> that's a conversation I had with luck it says that I'm forest and I know I'm not forest and I know that I haven't done this but at some point somebody knows something more about the end than I do even though I know what it says in the poem. No, or let's change that. Even though I think I know what it says in the poem. But I've yet to reach the end to prove the end. And the poem seems like it was structured. Seems like, well, yeah, I felt like an architect. I built the poem. So every time I say something, I think of what... I, 
Forrest has said, and it's like, I'm just, I'm getting to the point. I know Forrest talked about my awareness and all that. I'm getting to that point where all of these things are taking place and it feels like Forrest has just used words that I was using on my way to getting an answer, which makes it seem like it was me. And I know it's not me because I'm not there yet. So it can't be me. And I'm not Forrest fan and I didn't, you know, I wasn't around for Vietnam and stuff like that. I'm not American and blah, blah, blah. Which brings me to another thing. This poem is in English. I wrote the poem in English, not American. The words that I spell are English words, not American words. And it makes sense. So when they say it's an English major, I am not an English major. Although Forrest Fenn is, is an American major. I am not an English major by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I am English and I write in English and I write the poem in English as I read it because I don't know American. So I don't think as I read the poem, I don't think, well, how would an American write this word or how would an American write this word? I just write in English and it works. So it seems to have been written in English, which doesn't make sense. If Forrest Fenn is American. Why would he not write in American? And by American, I mean the way that you spell words is different than the way that I spell words. So I go through the poem and I'm totally confused and bewildered, but I end up with answers that always seem to make sense, even if I've wrote it in English. So obviously, Listen Good is all about heard. If you heard. If you are heard, probably more important. So how does that work? So I'm just explaining how I feel crazy. So you go around in the dark and you're fumbling around and you you go against what everybody else is doing. While everybody else is just picking up those easy souls or making out the information they get from the internet is more important than the information they get from the poem. So I tried to do what Forrest Van told me. And I believed in a maverick and I believed in a leader. And therefore, because I believe in that leader, I follow that leader and don't decide that I am better off doing it on my own. Because as Forrest said, you know, he doesn't believe there is a hermit. He believes that everybody needs somebody to make something happen. So therefore, if you go on a journey and there is a guide available, then you're better off using that guide. Unless you want, you know, to get lost and do it on your own. And that's just folly. So I follow the poem. It gives me an answer, which is not the answer that everybody else is looking for. Where is a chest? It's not that answer at all. Although those answers are there, if that's what you're worried about. But if you want to solve the poem, there's an answer to the poem. And it's not what you think it is. So the poem was about being heard. Absolutely, 100%. It was about being heard. And if you understand that, then in my opinion, you solve the poem and you could answer a question that is posed to you. So in my mind, I answer the question. I know the picture, pictures. I've seen them and I know the answer to that. And, you know, yeah, your soul. You know, I'm not going to deny that. And yeah, you know, I'm waiting for that to be announced. I'm waiting for that to be announced because going through the poem, it felt like the poem was only written when it finished. Every letter that was put into the poem seems to be based around the chase. And can only be finished when the chase really finishes, when everything that's supposed to happen in the chase happens in the chase. 
So I'm waiting to see if there is a connection. I suppose I could look in the poem and see if it was. <laughs> but it was a long time coming. And I go back so far as 1990. To try to, this? How would I say that? For this to evolve to the point that we are at now, even though, even though the union that many saw didn't take place, and that may have been regretted. And then we wait for the ending. How does it end? So it's all about time and it's all about being heard. And it's all about predicting, affecting, affecting the future. So time is out of the waste bin. and is free to continue. On the path that it should do. That's my opinion and Davy B's opinion in regard to the chase. So if you haven't seen my video about the auction, and I suggest you watch it, not because I want you to watch my video, but there is certain information in the video that I don't give you that could be important information to understand what I'm saying now. Sometimes it's what is not said that is the information you need to know. Sometimes it's not what you hear that you need to know. It's what you don't hear. So your assumptions may send you down the rapid hole, but your belief in the maverick may take you down the right path. You have to believe all the information that you are given is there to help you. So when you're told don't step there, then you don't step there. When you're told to shift, then you shift. When you're told to adjust, you adjust. When you're told to look quickly down, you look quickly down. When you're told to whatever it is, whatever the information is, you have to believe that that is there for you in your best interest. And while that doesn't sound like being a maverick, following the leader, absolutely it is. Because nobody else was. So it depends at the context that you look at it as. Following a leader doesn't sound like the maverick thing to do. But if there is only one person following that leader, then are they not the maverick? Are they not saying to everybody else, I'll do it my way? So sounds like a Frank Sinatra song or Elvis. Oh, this is a good one. Um, what might have seen a performance from him soon. I know he's dead, but you never know. Um, did one Celine Dion, didn't he? So, or whoever. So. Okay, then I'm waffling now because that's what I do best. I tend to try and steer you away from what I've said in order that you have no idea and then, you know, pick up the pieces afterwards. Thanks again. Take care.